So why did I feel the need to convert this cat into this cat? Well, let's back up a bit here. So I was browsing this GitHub repo with a collection of TypeScript challenges. When I came across this image that they have here, which is animating, and then I was like, why don't I have moving images in all of my readme markdown files? I started digging. I saw that, okay, this is an SVG file. Um, okay, so if we look at the raw file and we view the page source, we can see that, okay, in the top there is a style tag. Let me make that bigger. And they are just animating the opacity with a blink animation with some keyframes. So I was like, okay, so if you can use that in your readme files, then I gotta create something awesome to put in my readme file. So I found this kitty cat, which looks like this. Basically, this is where I started inside this SVG file. The first thing I did was to add a def style to this SVG and then I created an ID for my SVG so that I could scope my styling to just affect things inside the kitty ID which was the SVG tag wrapper. So then I have a class here which is headphones. So the next part was to go through all these SVGs and figure out uh, which part is the headphone. So for example I could just go to one of these fields and do red and save and then look at the cat. We can see that okay if you make this one red that seems to be the right part. I would identify the parts that was part of the headphones and then give them the class of headphones so that we could put this animation in here. And for the animation, I did some keyframes. So I did keyframes, rainbow, and I animated this in seven steps. I would add one sixth of 100% for every step. So it will go from blue to green to yellow, orange, red, hot pink, and then back to this green, a bluish color. Then we create this readme file. So some appeal to style things in the middle, and then image source SVG. So this is the original one. And this is the one with the animation changes. And that's how I ended up with this. Let's go to the repo for this and have a look inside the browser on this animated SVG. Okay, so now we created a repo and we can see that the readme markdown file is on the landing page of this repo and we have the animated SVG there working. Cool. So thanks for watching this video. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye.